Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inkers and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to continue with this Siemens G110 drive where we're going to be doing a 2-wire control, 3-wire control and also we're we'll using a, a, a um, Primo potentiometer. Uh, we had to change our drive since the last um, uh, video when we did a commissioning because whatever the reason happens to be my luck my drive didn't have an analog input. I didn't know drives exist like that but one of the things, one of the few, that drive did not have an input, so I had to get a different drive in, so we're going to be working on a little bit smaller model drive, but we got everything that we need for that drive now. So if you missed the last video where we commissioned the drive and uh, pretty much run the drive in local mode, definitely check that video in the description below. All the, also all the manuals, related videos, anything else that I believe will help you in any possible way, do check out the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. <music> Here we are, the station we're going to be using, it will look like a so. We will be using a forward run, reverse run, a jog and a speed. Reverse reverse is going to be a selected switch between uh, forward and reverse, basically when you turn on, we'll go in the reverse. When you activate the run, we do need run signal for this drive, so we'll be uh, put in a run mode. And then we can change the direction if you wish. I'll show that in a minute with jog and then potentiometer. Potentiometer can be... Uh, any potentiometer all the way up to, I didn't really know, but uh, I'm using 10 kilowatt, uh, 10, 10, 10 kilo ohm. I did not check the description in the paperwork. I do, there is definitely a range you can choose, so there's no problem with that. Oh, oh yeah, no, I'm lying. The potentiometer has to be a uh, higher or equal of 4.7 kilo ohms. So uh, definitely. Make sure that is the case, uh, 4.7 uh, above. So uh, that's uh, pretty much what it is going on there. So regarding when it comes down to uh, wiring, put this paperwork somewhere now, falling up. Regarding wiring, so uh, we will have, uh, we'll be using a 24 volt signal coming to our uh, e-stop uh, signal down here, going through e-stop signal and from there on it sort of uh, runs off to all the normally open contacts little bit run forwards, uh, direction selection, and we're going to have a jog button in here. And we're also going to have a uh, potentiometer. So uh, the 24 volt signal is coming from the terminal 6. And uh, terminal uh, 3 is going to be our uh, start, uh, I mean uh, run forwards. Terminal uh, 4 is going to be a uh, run uh, reverse. And terminal 5 is going to be our jog. So this is pretty much how we are going to be doing this. And for a uh, uh, potentiometer, we're using eight, nine, and 10 uh, terminals. All three of them will give us a uh, frequency. So a couple of things that we uh, need to change from a local mode, if you are starting from the local mode, by factory re default, if you start straight away, you don't really need to change much. You need to jump to a uh, parameter, uh, let me just go down a little bit, change that one to 1 so we get, get quickly to the parameter, uh, 700 to 2, and parameter 1000 to 2, so basically that puts both, both uh, frequency and uh, control down to a remote, basically from terminals in the bottom in here. And we have to change one, a, uh, one parameter so we can run a uh, jog and I'll show you the options that this drive has. I do like this drive, it's very straightforward, very easy to understand, so I, at least at least my, my personal preference, so it's really good. So uh, as you can see now, that these are all the possibilities you can have for all your uh, digital inputs, as you can see down here. And we need to select that we want to go a jog right in this drive. Jog does not need a run signal, which is good. I like it when they do that. So change. Uh, we need to change the password to level two. So by the way, uh, P03 is your uh, levels of, uh, uh, not password, the It's levels of uh, access of the parameters. You can sort of narrow it down. If you don't need any of those small parameters, just keep it at one So for the quick commissioning. But if you want to like uh, uh, change digital inputs, just change it to, to, to two. That will give you, you will start to say, well, as you see, I've got a lot more parameters available now. As you go higher on that number, the more parameters will be unlocked. So I just overshot. So there we go. So the 701 will be your uh, terminal three, which, in, which could be classed uh, digital input one. So, and for that one, as you can see in here, I have uh, not that one. I don't want to change that one. I want to change the third one, aren't I? And change that one to 10. 
So that's our, uh, this guy in here. I'm not sure if you can see that, this guy in here, the Terminal uh, 5. And that's pretty much all you really need to do. So if you have commission to watch the last video and commission to drive and ready to go. So that's pretty much all we need to do for two-wire control. So let me put the cover on and I will show you how that works. There we go, so before we uh, jump on to the testing, I'll quickly show you how to change your jog frequency. So first you need to change your uh, uh, parameter level to 3 to get to it, and you need to go to parameter 1058. we we'll get there in a minute. So 1058, this is where your uh, frequency is, and jog obviously has, in this drive, it has its own um, uh, ramp up, ramp down, so it's acceleration, acceleration, so you can do that in 1060. So this is pretty much where you uh, are able to change your frequency if you wish to change for your um, jog. So, uh, yeah, and by the way, the actual, the, in the manual, digital input is zero, as actually uh, not class as one, it's going to be digital input uh, zero will be on three, digital input. Uh, one is going to be in a four and digital number two is going to be on five. So that's pretty much, I missed the zero out. So, uh, so yeah, here we go. There's a station. So let's, let's flip that one off. So here we go. We put that into a run mode. So it runs, you've got the potentiometer in here. Runs beautifully. And uh, I just flipped the uh, reverse switch. It will go into a uh, reverse. Then you can turn it off and there we go. And then your jog will move however you wish so and that ladies and gentlemen is how is the basic a two-wire control so next thing we're going to look at is three-wire control here we are for our three-wire control we're going to be using a station like that there's a couple options you can do you can have a both a run uh, run signals as a pulse or you can have a run signal as like i do by flipping a switch it will reverse it so also we're going to be using a potentiometer as well in our e-stop to remove the, any uh power going to our uh, inputs so that's a very basic one so uh to do to there's a couple of a couple of ways you can do the uh, three wire control and i'll quickly show you the parameter check out the parameter a uh, p727 where you can see a couple of options you can go you can option one you can have option uh two and a three we're gonna have forward pulse reverse pulse or you can have three which i have chosen which is start pulse and then you can have directional switch which I have on my station you have both options which I like the only thing I have problem with is it does say in here uh, the, the digital inputs uh, P701 to 704 are redefined as follow uh, it didn't so you have to do that manually so uh, for that just go straight to the 7 uh, what uh, I'll show you what I've done so for 27 I selected the three for 701 that was normal 702 select that to 2 and 703 select that to 12 and you'll be able to achieve exactly the same setup as mine again all of this is programming how you want the digital input to be so basically and let me run you through the wiring right now so for the wiring, we got two normally our closed contacts. We, we got the 24 volt signal coming from a uh, terminal six to our e stop. From e stop, it goes to our stop signal, goes via the stop, and that stop cable goes back to digital input uh, one. So that will be a fourth terminal down here, and from there on, is able to distribute the power to both of the uh, start switches and uh, directional switches. So our start switch switch is going to be a digital input zero, which is our terminal three. And our reverse is going to be digital in, uh, digital input three and sorry two on a uh, terminal five. So that's pretty much that. And also we have again as previously our potentiometer. And that's pretty much all we really need to do to get this station going. So let me put cover on. We'll crack on. There we are. So the cover is on. So it looks like that. So as per our setup, what we have set up, we we'll click and start. It will latch in and it will keep running and then you so this is most a lot of people like this 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 uh, three wire controls are very popular so there we go so and if you want to go in the reverse just flip the switch and we'll go in the reverse if you want to have another button here for going the reverse you can do that as well by choosing option uh what's it called option two in parameter seven two seven so uh so yeah there you go and then it goes there and then you just click a stop and that's reverse. and by clicking that nothing will happen so there we go. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is for the two-wire control, three-wire control. 
and hopefully you are well on your way setting up your station or whatever you are trying to do and that ladies and gentlemen will conclude this video i hope it is helping you out in every possible way and you are well on your way so if you like the video please smash that like and do subscribe if you do like what we're doing here and uh, if you have any questions and anything you want to talk about do uh, comment them in comment section below and i will do my best and to answer them as quick and as accurate as I can. And don't forget all the manuals, everything you're gonna need for this drive is gonna be in description below. So uh, do check the description below and any other related video. So other than that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.